Hello everybody. Uh, so in today's video, um, I thought I would try something new. So I know how to make quite a few different kinds of bread, but I have never tried making French bread. So in today's video, we're going to try and make French bread. Okay, so I took out my mixer. I've got a few of the starting ingredients here. So I'm going to put a cup of warm water, no hotter than 110 to 115 degrees. Just going to pour it right into my mixer. It says we need one package or one tablespoon of yeast. I'm going to put that right in. And then a either one tablespoon of honey or one tablespoon of sugar. So I'm going to use honey today. Normally I use sugar, but I'm going to use honey. About a tablespoon. And then, where is my dough whisk? There it is. I'm going to use my dough whisk. I do have this linked if you want to know where I bought it. I like to use this to blend it up. It helps the, the yeast proof better. So I'm just giving it a good mix. I'll give you a look at what this looks like. We're going to let the, the yeast sit and activate uh, for probably five to ten minutes and then we're going to add the rest of the ingredients. I'm going to show you what this looks like first. So this is what the mixture looks like right now. You can see the bubbles starting to form already. That's the yeast starting to activate. So as soon as this is done activating, we'll come back and do the rest of the ingredients together. Okay, so it's been about 10 minutes. I'm going to show you a closer look at how this has um, puffed up, like uh, foamed up. This is what you want it to look like. So as you can see, all the foam and all the bubbles, this is what you want it to look like when your uh, yeast is fully activated. So now let's put the rest of the ingredients in. Okay. So we need about a teaspoon of salt. Try and put a teaspoon here. Just gonna add it right to the mixture. We need about two tablespoons of olive oil. I am just gonna eyeball this part. half cups of flour. So I'm going to start with two. We're going to mix it in and then we're going to add more. If I know anything about bread recipes, usually it doesn't take as much flour as the recipe calls for. So we're going to start with two. You don't want the dough to be too tough, otherwise it's not going to knead properly and it's not going to be nice and fluffy. So let's start with two. Okay, there's some flour on the sides here. I'm just going to scrape it so it mixes a little better. You want to make sure everything's incorporated really nice. And you don't have lumps in the middle of your bread and stuff. I am using a, a dough hook on my mixer here. So we are definitely going to need more flour, I figured so. Uh, like I said, the recipe says between three and three and a half cups. Um, probably three is going to be good, but we'll see. We'll see once this forms a little bit of a ball here. Scrape the sides again. And then I'm going to add another cup. A little bit more to that. The cup wasn't quite full. Okay, mix that together and see if it forms a ball. It does say that this makes a fairly stiff dough, so I gotta keep that in mind. <clears throat> Okay, let's 
position this a little bit. I do see already that it's forming a fairly stiff dough, so we're, we're on track here. <coughs> Make sure everything on the bottom here is incorporated. Give it one more mix. Just to make sure it's forming nicely. We definitely aren't going to use the other half. I think this is already at a really good texture. If I add another half a cup of flour, this is going to be way too stiff of a dough. And it's not going to raise nicely. It's going to be dense. So we're going to only do three cups. There we go. That's what we want. So it's taking everything off the side of the bowl. That's perfect. Okay, so in the recipe, it says we need to let this knead for 10 minutes. So I am gonna knead this for 10 minutes in the mixer. You can do it on a floured board if you want. I'm gonna do it in the mixer. <laughs> and as soon as that's done, I'll come back and show you what it looks like. Okay, so I just stopped my mixer here. The dough is really nice. <laughs> Let me show you. It's got a nice firm texture to it, but still a little bit soft. So now it, ne it needed it really, really nice. Okay. So now I'm just going to stick some, I guess I can do this with one hand, <laughs> some olive oil into my bowl here, just to make sure it doesn't stick to the bowl. And then my oven, my new oven, has a bread proof setting. So I'm going to put it in my oven on the bread proof setting. If you do not have a bread proof setting, you can just cover this with a tea towel. Um, that's what I usually do. <laughs> but since my oven has a bread proof setting, I'm going to try it. <laughs> um, so I'm just uh, oiling the sides of the bowl here. So as the bread raises, um, it doesn't stick to the sides of the bowl. So this says in the recipe, that it needs to raise for one and a half to two hours. So I'm going to do that now and it should double in size. And this recipe is supposed to make two loaves of French bread. So as soon as this is done raising for one and a half to two hours, I'll be back and we'll form the loaves and uh, do the next part together. So it has raised for probably hour and a half, almost almost two hours. So this is what it looks like. So now we need to form them into loaves. Get my spray here. I'm just gonna spray the parchment paper here that I have, just so they don't stick too bad. It does say in the recipe to put cornmeal on the bottom if you want, but I'm not going to. But if you want to, you can. So let's pull it out. It says to cut it in half for two different loaves. And basically form it into a long loaf. It looks decent. Let's do that. So I'm just going to put it on here. I do not have a bread scoring knife, um, so I'm just going to use this really sharp knife. I just sharpened it. Um, but this is where you would use your uh, bread scoring knife. I am planning to buy one. I just haven't bought one yet. Okay. Okay, so I'm just going to try to score it a little bit here. Give it a couple slices here. And then in the recipe it says we need to let these raise for another hour. Okay. 
Okay, so I'm just going to cover them. I'm trying to give them a little bit of space here to expand. I'm hoping they'll get wider, but we'll see. <laughs> okay, so I'm just going to cover them with the towel and put them on the bread proof setting again for another hour. So once these are done, I'll give you a look at what they look like before I put them in the oven. Okay, so it's been about an hour. They didn't raise as much as I thought they were going to, but I think if I make this recipe again, I'll just make one loaf and I think it would be perfect. Um, so here's what it is. Um, so this is egg and about a tablespoon of milk. In the recipe, it wants you to brush it on top before you bake them. Give it a nice golden brown color. I'm going to be generous with it here. Spread it out a little bit. <laughs> and then we're supposed to bake these for 25 minutes at uh, 375. So I'm preheating my oven right now. And for about 25 minutes or until golden brown, the recipe says, depending on your oven. So yeah, I think if I was to do this one more time, um, I would probably do it as one loaf rather than two. The recipe does say that it makes two, but they didn't raise that much. <laughs> I think if they were put together, it would make the perfect size for a French loaf, French bread loaf. There we go. Okay, so I'm gonna bake these for 25 minutes, and then when I come back, I'll show you the finished product. So the French bread is out of the oven. They didn't raise any more in the oven. I was hoping they would have. It's a nice brown color on it. Um, I only cooked them for 17 to 18 minutes because the bottom was getting quite brown. Um, but I think next time I make them, I'm gonna turn it into one loaf. It's almost perfect size for one loaf. And uh, yeah, so I'm gonna try the recipe again and do it for one loaf, but for now, it is what it is. <laughs> so everybody, this is where I'm gonna end the video for today. Um, I would like to thank everybody for watching and I hope to see you next time. Bye.